right guys, I'm setting off on a lower and upper Comanche Trail loop. Should get probably a good 15, 20 miles out of this by the time I'm done. Um, so we're camped up in Juniper Campground in Palo Alto Canyons. And it's my first time back in the desert since uh, leaving Cocodona last year. And you can see I'm hitting this barefoot, fully loaded. As soon as I hit the trails, I'll break into a little bit of a run and I'll document along the way. This should be fun. All right, here we are. We started the Lower Comanche Trail. So this is my point here. I'm gonna run this and then up the Comanche Trail. I'm gonna run this all the way up to the road and then I'm just gonna come nice and easy back down the road to my camp. Wish me luck. There's a lot of uh, self-trust that goes into this. Understanding what you're capable of and what you're not. Being able to feel yourself from the inside out in any given moment. Knowing full well what each indicator in your body means. But also, being able to trust that you are made for this landscape. Like this, this is who you are. So, there's not an environment on earth that human feet weren't made to terrain to cross. Point six. That's uh, the marker for how many miles I've come from the other direction. So that's what's ahead of me of Lower Comanche. And then I've got like four of Upper Comanche. You can hear how out of breath I am. The terrain isn't bothering my feet too much, like at all. But uh, I've been barefoot now in this canyon for two days and done uh, probably close to 10 miles so far so oh, still got some training and conditioning to do in terms of my fitness bringing that back online for the Sedona 125 It's perfect training for it. Training myself away from lightweight carbon trekking poles to using this. And uh, definitely feels good. Oh yeah, look at that. That's where I've just come up from, down there. Oh. Mm.
pretty good. It's... I think got a funny smell to it. And the pools where it's not flowing so much look stagnant and full of um, like mold. So uh, you're leaving that water alone. See the whole canyon down in there. A long way up. Wow, time's flying out here. According to my watch, I've been running 55 minutes already, it doesn't feel like it. I don't feel anything like it. I might post up shortly and grab some food. Keep those batteries charged. My perfect spot to post up and have some food. Huh. This is a fun little run. Just came from there. Heading that way. I think I'm about halfway on Lower Comanche, maybe a little more than halfway. And then I've got to peel on to Upper Comanche, it's about the same distance. Just keep moving. And then just like that, we open up. So, fun fact, Palo Alto Canyon in Texas is the second biggest canyon after the Grand Canyon. I believe that would be in terms of its length, but don't quote me on that, but I do know it is the second biggest. You can quote me on that. In fact, you can quote me on whatever the fuck you want. If I don't like what I hear after the fact, I'll just deny it. <laughs> One of the things that happens <clears throat> when you run barefoot is you start to run softly and it prevents injury. It's pretty fucking amazing really. Here we are, 0.5 left. Or 0.5 in depending on which way you're facing. Like if you can't imagine walking on this kind of terrain without hiking boots on, that's okay. Start with what you can imagine. Maybe even on the beach you currently wear shoes. I don't know, I'm gonna hear people, oh, you don't know what's in the sand, needles and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Whatever you attract into your existence is what you're gonna experience. You're attracted by your fear of it, your desire for it, your longing. So, start with what you can imagine. 
can imagine the grass at the local park. You can imagine the grass in your backyard. If all you can imagine right now is polished wood floors and carpet, start somewhere. It all feels like something. And that feeling, that just grows and grows until you're feeling the whole world through your feet. It feels fucking amazing, I've got to tell you. all right so i'm eight miles in i've uh crossed over the canyon i'll show you once i get clear of this shrub line that's where i was up over there way up there in the hills on my way back to camp now hopefully having done a good deed for the day and uh, I'm good with the miles like it's not the most I'm running at the moment but definitely some of the gnarliest terrain I've done since Cocodona particularly some of the gnarliest terrain I've done barefoot and uh, a lot of climbing descending and I'm feeling really good right now so I'm gonna keep cruising and peel on into camp have a relaxing afternoon and then that'll be about it call it a day <laughs> 